Hey guys, so this is a very, very, very belated video, uh, and it is my 2012 favorites. I recorded this previously and didn't like how it turned out, and also I was seeing other people's and they looked so much more organized than mine had been, so I apologize for this being late. So let's just get into it. We're gonna start with fashion because that's my favorite thing. Uh, number one is just a brand, and that brand is Free People. I've always loved Free People. I've been lusting after Free People since I was about 10 years old, or whenever it was established. Um, love Free People. Beautiful clothing, really nice pieces. They last for a really long time. This shirt is actually from Free People, and I really like it. Um, I don't have anything specific, I just love everything. I always rewear. They're my most worn pieces. And this is kind of the year I started wearing and buying and investing in Free People clothing more, so that's a big one for me. The next thing are Topshop Lee jeans. Now, I only have one pair, but they are the dark acid wash, and I freaking love these. These have changed how I wear jeans, and they've, yeah, really opened me up to the jeans world, because I don't, I don't really like jeans too much. But these are wonderful. They're soft, they're tight, and comfortable. Next are the J. Crew Pixie Pants. Now, I'd heard a lot about these from different YouTubers like Ingrid. Um, so I went out and got some over last summer, I think, and mine are kind of dirty right now because they've been sitting on my rug on the ground while I get ready to film this, um, so they have fluff, but they are just, you know, black pants, and then they zip up at the back, and bear in mind, um, if you get these or if you order them, I have two sizes down from what I normally wear because they're really small, or really big rather. They fit wonderfully, they look really nice, they're comfy, um, I wear them loads, and they're really thick too. They're just basically a wetsuit, and I know this because I used to surf, they feel a lot like a wetsuit. The final kind of piece of clothing is my Muba leather jacket that I got this year. I actually ha don't think I've worn this in a video, but um, it's this gorgeous red leather jacket that I got at London Fashion Weekend, and I freaking love it. I think it's so pretty, it's so casual. Um, I'm wearing it in a video coming up so you can see what it looks like in that video, but this has been a staple for me. The last three fashion-y things are accessories, and number one is uh, something you may understand or you may know already, and it is head wraps. This is my Free People one. Um, this is one that my friend Robin gave me from Cheap Monday. I just have loved head wraps this year. They're great for when you don't really want to do a lot to your hair, but still want to look kind of cool. Next is my watch. Mid-size Tribeca Chronograph watch in espresso horn, or horn espresso. Um, yep, you have like the horn detailing here and here, and this espresso color. It's big, it's different, I've never seen anyone else with this watch, love it a lot, and I wear it every single day, and I, whenever I forget it, I look at my watch all day, look at my wrist all day, and don't know the time. And the final thing is this ring, um, it's gonna be kind of hard to see, I've shown it in a video before, I think, it's just, a, I think it's Lover's Knot ring, I got it in a random store at Edinburgh, but I love it, I wear it every single day, staple. And now on to beauty and makeup, the number one thing is the Chanel Vita Luminaire aqua foundation in 10 beige which is i think the palest color they have unsurprisingly uh it's thin it's nice i don't like wearing foundation i also don't need to wear foundation a whole lot so this is great for days when i do need some foundation but don't want a lot uh i think it's really nice it's smooth and it feels luxurious on my skin but it's really expensive, so that would that would be something I'd like to change. Next is a product I just got in November, I think, or October, and it's the By Terry Touche, Touche Veloute, Veloute, don't remember. Um, it's just a, kind of a click-up brush concealer that I think works beautifully. You have to tap it in. It's so luxurious. It's so creamy and smooth and nice and conceals well. Definitely a favorite of this year, the end of this year. I cannot remember if I got this this year or last year. I think it was this year, and it's the NARS um, eyeshadow primer. It's soft and it works really well. It's been my go-to most of the year, and I really like it. Now I heard these might be getting uh, discontinued, so I really hope not, but it's the Benefit Creaseless Cream Eyeshadows. I discovered them this year. I have two colors. I have RSVP, which is the pink toned, and Birthday Suit, which is kind of the bronzy brown one. This one's my favorite, RSVP. Love it, every use it pretty much every day, and it's great. Steal a convertible color blush thing in Lilium. I've talked about this before, it's a cream blush. I used it so much the first half of this year and this summer a lot, and it was a favorite, and I think they're really gorgeous products, and they just work really nicely for my skin. You're probably tired of hearing me talk about this one. It's the Chanel lipstick in Les Fidel. It's this mauve color that I wore 
every day after I got it for a very long time, so I had to put it in my favorites video. And the final thing are Inglot shadows. I don't have the specific name of the shadows I have because they're dumb and numbers and hard to find because they're on the bottom of the pan, but they're the best eyeshadows I've ever used. They're gorgeous pigmentation, and I'm so happy I have these because they're great for night, night out looks. The final three products are kind of skincare and hair care. And number one is the MAC Cleanse Off Oil. I discovered this this year. This is an empty one. Uh, and I love it. It gets all kinds of makeup off. I recently got a waterproof mascara. Works perfectly. It's great. This is another thing I've talked about a lot and it's the Caudalie Hand and Nail Cream. I'm actually running really low on it, which is sad. But I love this stuff, smells great, and it really sinks in nicely, and it's just the best hand cream. And I don't say that a lot because I use a lot of different hand creams. And the final thing is something really boring, and it's the Joyco K-Pack Clarifying Chelating Chelating Shampoo. Uh, London has extraordinarily hard water, and my hair hates it. So this does help. Uh, I still would like recommendations for what to do for hard hair because my hair is sad. So if you can help my hair, that'd be great. But this has helped a lot. I use this once a week and it clarifies and that day my hair feels great but then it goes back to feeling shitty but I don't want to overuse this because I already have damaged dyed permed hair so whatever and those are my 2012 favorites I hope you enjoyed let me know what yours are in the comments sorry this video is really belated and yeah another favorite I guess is uh, this channel this yeah I, this channel has been great I started it in January of last year so it's been a year it's been a great year. I love doing these videos and they're a lot of fun. It's great. It's a great outlet for me because it's something I'm very interested in. If you want to see kind of more random book, film, that kind of favorites, I post a video on my main channel, which is I Will Say Hoot, and I'll link it down below. And yeah, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye. <laughs>